Biz. Yes, it is the day of the week where I like to publicly hang out with my dad just to try and make him look cool in the 21st century. We're still getting there, aren't we? Thanks, bro. Yeah. With us today, we've got Oreo Duba. Yes. He's proved he has great footwork on the dance floor and he's hoping to do the same on the football pitch when he teams up with my boy for soccer aid match. Yes, tonight. Okay, now yeah. we actually have two Strictly champions here today because on my side is the wanted Jay McGuinness. Yeah. Uh, the winning in 2015 uh, is currently bringing musical theatre back into our lives. Our third guest is joining us virtually from the cobbles of Corrie, Shona. It's the wonderful actress Julia Goulding. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, hello. And as always, the cloud is swirling above to give us a few games, extra entertainment. And uh, do you know what? Sometimes I like to kick it off with a little bit of a quiz. What was number one this week back in 1983? Jay, were you born in 1983? 90. You cheeky sod. You joking? <laughs> I said, were Seven you born? Years. I said, were you born? Jay, it's a, beard, Jay, it's a big beard. <laughs> it's a big beard. It's a big beard. 1980, could you guess? Um, what's the Vienna song? What's that? Oh, well, that's a good call. Yeah, what is that? Ultravox. Ultravox. No. Oh, good call. It's a very good call, but the it's, past. it's not the right one. <laughs> the past. Yeah, everything that's on now, that's what I call 1983. Um, go on, Ori. 1983. Um, September. September. Probably Depeche Mode. I'll do anyone, mm. any, it could have been you lot, it could have been. Could have been, I've that's got, a really good call. I, was mode. it, was it? I'm just going to go with Depeche Mode because you like that, yeah. he gave us a Depeche nice Mode, go on, he doesn't know, look at him. Well, <laughs> I, I've, do got, you remember? Do you I've remember got a good idea oh, because I remember it well in my house because that was the summer that we released gold. Right? right, right, and in my house uh, is a bit of a competition going on because Shirley had just released um, Club Tropicana, and we were vying for number one spot. Ah, okay. well, do you know what? So I, I, you know I'm going to go Club Tropicana. Oh uh, well, I'm so glad that you said that because it's neither of you. Why would you <laughs> say? <that? laughs> it's completely unnecessary. Just a plug. Welcome to the show. Uh, <laughs> Thank you. Now the answer is actually Red Red Wine by uh, UB40. Let's hear it. Um. Big two. Now, um, oh, great song. UB40. Any random facts about them? Yeah, I've got a good one. Uh, you know the uh, the video for this. Videos were so big in those days, weren't they? You know the video. Remember it? All the boys in the pub. Oh, well, they needed extras on the day of the filming, so they went across the road to the factory, got all the guys out of the factory to come into the pub uh, in, during their lunch hour, gave them all loads of drink. They all went back to the factory in the afternoon and got a sack because they were drunk. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, to be fair, I, to be fair, I think there is worse ways that you can can get sacked. I mean, you'd rather be sacked for doing something like that, turning up on a something music fun. video. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Something for life. Fun. Although it does make me feel like I've never actually been, I've never been, I've only really had one job in my life. I've never been sacked, but I don't know now. Now I'm guessing whether or not I actually have ever left. Because <laughs> I used to clean, I used to clean gym toilets, but I never actually handed in a notice or told them I was leaving. Oh, right. So they still think up. you're there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What about you? There was I. I had a job working in a dry cleaners slash photo developer. At one point, I was in charge. Everybody had gone off to lunch or something, and I was in charge, and uh, and passed out asleep round the back. So, um, <laughs> I just, I just thought, do you know what, I think my time has come. Yeah, I, I took myself out. <laughs> Let someone else do all that dry cleaning and photo developing. Well, it's all the fumes. Yeah. It's all the fumes that must have been in there. I would there. love to have chemicals. blamed it on that, Martin. Yeah. 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 But you did I was just you tired. Did printing stuff, did you? Yeah, I was, I was actually an apprentice compositor in the print, right, in the old days, back in the old, where you always used to be, uh, doing, you know, making the lines up with lead. Right, right, old school. Yeah. And uh, it was the first job that I had when I left school. <laughs> My dad got me the job as an apprenticeship. And in those days, apprenticeships, you had to sign your life away. It was like five years, you know. And uh, so it was exactly the same time, after about a year, that the band started to get going. Right? And we started to become pretty successful. Uh, and I had to go back to my dad and say to my dad, Dad, I need a letter to get me out of this apprenticeship. So he wrote me that letter and it said, Dear sir, will you release Martin from his apprenticeship because he wants to become a pop star? <laughs> wow. There you go. All right, I mean, from, you know, doing dry cleaning and photo printing. Yeah. With absolute humble beginnings. Yeah, humble yeah. beginnings. <laughs> I mean, you may have one Strictly Come Dancing, but I think 
this next thing for you, it will just be the best thing ever. Now, I know it's your debut on the pitch, Soccer Aid 2020. So yeah. it's happening tonight, 6.30 Believe at it. Old Trafford. I mean, when you got that phone call, how nervous were you? I, I had to change my underwear. <laughs> and, and then after that, I, t I, had a, I took a deep breath and thought, wow, this really is a childhood dream come true. I've always dreamt of playing at the, well, the Theatre of Dreams, you know, yeah. and we watch Soccer Aid every year. And it does so much for so many people year on year. But yeah. of course, this year is even more important because every pound that people donate is getting turned into three pounds for some children and families who've been affected by coronavirus. So it's really going to change people's lives. Yeah. You're a goalkeeper. So, so, I mean, I don't know how, how has that come about? Have you always played in goal? No. No? Uh, but, <laughs> but, now, I, I, I've not played 11-a-side football for approximately 18 years. But... What I have played, you're terrified now. Yep. You're like, I want to keep the title. Well, I'm in defence, so not yeah. Not this kind yeah. of girl. <laughs> but I have, I, I used to play hockey to quite a high, I was not far from playing, playing England hockey. Wow. In goal. Only difference is the goal is about that size. Yeah, yeah of course. Compared to the football goal. But anything in, in this agile. zone. Agile. Agile. Yeah. I like it. I, I like it. I so like what's it. the training been like? Has it been strict? Is it hard work? What are you expecting? Well, uh, before this, so what's really fortunate, in my family, I actually do have a professional footballer. My brother-in-law plays for Aldershot Town. Oh. And he's a goalkeeper. So I've, I had like a couple of training sessions with him. So it's just to not turn up at training, the first day of training, looking yeah. like an absolute melon. Roman has been training like crazy like this, weren't you, Ro? Training all last yeah. week. Yeah. You know, he yeah. has been training yeah. all his life for this game. Do you want to see this little clip? I would got, love to see this. it. When you take yourself really seriously and yeah. you're like, don't emote, don't emote. Don't. Yeah. The press ups. Love it. <laughs> like, and, and do you know the worst thing of all is that even the haircut in that was, uh, I had a mullet. I had tram lines and a mullet because of, uh, Fernando Torres had a mullet that year. Yeah. Right. Like a Spanish player and, and, and just like... And tram lines. Can I have two bad haircuts, please? <laughs> yeah, so exactly. That's what I thought. Do you know what? Someone said, oh, a mullet's really bad. I was like, look, hold my drink. Let me get this. Um, but Jay, what's your football skills like? Do you play much? No, really dog awful from, from, really? from a kid to now. Uh, my brothers used to call me banana kick. Banana um, kick? Yeah, they did. And, uh, and the wanted, we did a few charity football matches. Yeah. And, uh, some of the boys are pretty damn good, but um, we let in 12, and, and, and one of the boys squared up to Alistair Campbell, which was <laughs> well, a really exciting time that, for us. That, that's one way to play. One yeah, way to play. Um, mm. I, I, I want to talk just, just really quickly um, about uh, Strictly Come Dancing, because you've both obviously absolutely smashed it. <laughs> you both nailed it, which is ridiculous. Um, but they've just announced uh, that Max George from The Wanted, He's in. Jay, your bandmate, is going to be in there. Yes. I mean, I'll guess what's, what's winning secrets from both of you. I mean, Jay, let's start with you. Well, I've, I've told him, just go, don't stress, and, you know, let it be. All right, yeah. would you say the same? Yeah, you, I mean, it's just such an amazing experience that you can't not go there and have a good time. You've got a world champion dancer teaching you how to be better. And then maybe just try not to think about 12 million people watching you on a Saturday. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know, your little boy... Let's talk about yeah. it. Yeah. Now, your little Dad's boy. Dad's a Roman. Let's a, have a chat. He's got a wonderful name. Yeah. yeah. Wonderful yeah. name. Where did that come from? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we're looking for role models in this world. We're looking for people, people to look up to. And I have always been a fan of the Roman Empire. Yeah. And so I thought, no. I, um, we spoke about him when we just had yeah. him. When we chatted on the red carpet. And I said, hey, he's joining a very wonderful club of Romans. He, um, yeah, he's a, he's a great, he's a great kid. He's, he's, um, look at you. Look at so you. cute. Look at I you can't, there. I can't, he melts me. He also hits me.
Yeah, <laughs> he's also really aggressive. But he's, because he is, he, he's not really sporty. In fact, I say really, he's not sporty at all. Yeah. He, he chuck a ball at him, he let it smack off his chest, fall on the floor and be like, What'd you do that for? Yeah. Um, he's not really one for kicking, but he'll jump up and sing and dance as, you know, from CBeebies or, or um, yeah. a milkshake and all the telly that's on. He, he loves singing the theme tunes. Yeah. But if you try and sing the theme tune back to him, no, daddy, no, no, daddy. Oh. He's, like a, he's like a musical dictator. Oh. So, um, yeah, he knows what he likes. And so apparently, me is not one of them. I know that, that obviously, you know, you send your son, he, he will be up there. But I think, you know, you have been through some hardships. You did take on a fantastic role at a young age. What was that? Cinderella. Let me have a look at this photo. Oh, oh you've been digging. Oh, you love it. Wow. <laughs> that is when I didn't know what a quick change was. <laughs> that is. So Are you that, half in the? Alley? That is supposed to be the big, um, the big sort of um, pumpkin reveal scene where I've gone from my rags. Up, the, the show was called Cinderella, very cleverly yeah. Yeah. titled adaptation of a uh, popular Disney title. Um, so I was going from the rags and supposed to end up in the beautiful dress, and that was the result. Oh, well, 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 I, like it. It. I like it. I like it. Thank you so much for coming on the show and Pleasure. being, being with us it. today. It's a shame um, that the hair's gone, isn't yeah. it? Really? <laughs> <laughs> and you can see Subgrade on ITV tonight at 6 30 pm. Yes, going to wear those medals once more. Come right, on, rest time for your Sunday selfies. Uh, so, this is really fun, right? So, basically, we get you to send a picture of uh, yourself watching the show, essentially, and how you relax on a Sunday whilst watching us. Uh, so, let's start with Lexi from the Wirral. Enjoying the show on her 12th birthday. Oh, very good. Big balloon. Looks like I'm about to pop it. Kind of. <laughs> it does. Either that or I'm angrily pointing at the cameraman. Um, Bonnie as well, settling down to watch the show in Melton Mowbray. Check that out. That looks like a human in a dog suit. <laughs> Something about the shoulders. Yeah. Very human. Yeah. yeah. That's, yeah. A, that's how you sit on a sofa. That is. I just Let's, hold on, stop right where you are, Martin. Yeah. That is exactly <laughs> how you, you are posing. It's the same person. He's Good job, Bonnie's his not a boy. Bits. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God, yeah. And, uh, and uh, Saren, who was glued to the screen at 11 weeks old in Sheffield. Now, that, I'm actually quite impressed by that. A baby is watching us and isn't asleep. <laughs> no, actually, oh, no, she is asleep. I think. Oh, she's asleep. I forget or she's it just going. Oh, forget it then. Forget yeah. it then. Forget it then. <laughs> uh, right, if you want a Sunday selfie shout out, then drop us an email with your photo to sundaybest at cactustv.co.uk. We're taking a quick break now, but stay with us because Jamie Guinness is going to tell us all about his new socially distanced West End musical, Sleepless. Yeah, and Cory star Julia Goulding uh, will tell us if her character Shona's memory is returning in Cory. See you in a minute. <laughs> Welcome back to Martin and Roman's Sunday Best. Aria Duba and Jay McGuinness are here, and a little later on, Corrie's Julia Goulding tells us about the struggles ahead for her character Shona with David Platt. Now, it is almost time as well for our very first game, so it's time to meet this week's wonderful families who are going to help us out. On my side, we've got the Sangera family from Wolverhampton. That's Dad Lynn, Mum Pat, and their children, seven year old Amara and six year old Rayan. Now, all right, you're going to love this, right? Because Rayan is a proper little comedian. And so much so that he's <laughs> absolutely you. smashed his dad's socials over lockdown to the point where, you know, by popular demand, he's now got his own. He's got his, he's got his own little comedy show yes. as well. Let's take a look at this clip. Hanji Ray Ray. How old am I? Five years old, sir. In festive, can you make him call me? Of course. Shinda, can you call my girlfriend? Which girlfriend shall I call? <laughs> Press 1 for Simran, 2 for Kiran, or 3 for Pito. So, Ryan, do you hard. want to be an actor when you grow up? I do want to be a DJ. <laughs> you want to be a DJ? 
DJ. Or like your dad. DJ. Your dad's a DJ, isn't he? He's probably a better DJ than me already, mate. <laughs> uh, listen, yeah, thank you very much for coming on the show today. So good. Enjoy yourself. Thank you. Thank thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank family here. And on my side, it is the Miller family from Ipswich. Uh, Let's hear from Mum Katrina, Dad Scott, 17 year old Devon, and 13 year old Lola. Yes. You guys quite literally are the Millers, um, which is a really funny film. The Millers. Yeah, we are the Millers. Did you watch the movie? Yeah, it's very funny. I'm sure you're dying out on that all the time. But you have good right to because you've been voted Britain's funniest family by the Beano. Um, now, tell me about this video that you decided to make. Well, um, we just, so I like doing TikToks, so we decided that we should do a TikTok. And then we thought, well, let's do... A music video, and then it sort of just went on and on. We we're like, well, let's rewrite the lyrics, or let's make a big video to it, and yeah, it sort of went from there. So we good. We, we, we absolutely loved it when we saw it, and, and you were named Britain's funniest family uh, by the Beano, which I absolutely love. And check this out, right? Because I think this is one of the coolest things ever. Cartoons <laughs> are such a bit of me. And they gave you your own strip. Oh, amazing! 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 You need that frame, so, don't you? So cool! Yeah, you've got to get that yeah. frame. So the Millers, pleasure to have you here. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, and it is time <laughs> to play our first little game. Uh, so Jay, you're on my side with the Millers. All right, really sorry. This time you'll be on the losing side. <laughs> don't worry, tonight <laughs> winning. Tonight winning. Hey. Uh, and the Sangera family, you'll be with my dad and Ra as well. As always, we need a judge, so let's welcome back one of our favourite referees. It's only Granny Maureen. <laughs> <laughs> so good to have you back. Are you enjoying the fame? Yes, I'm being asked for autographs now. Oh. I, bet, I bet you have, mate. Well, listen, it is time for some family competition. We are going to be playing a game called... Kazooie Oki. Uh, listen, predictably, it involves one of... These a kazoo, so we're going to take it in turns to play some tunes, and the other team and our families need to guess the title. Okay, shout out with your answers as quick as you can, and we will stop playing. And as always, our granny judge is going to keep score. Maureen, are you paying attention? You ready? Yeah, I am. I am. <laughs> there she is. Okay. Um, who wants to go first? Do you want to go first, or do you want us? You go first. Okay. Miller family, be ready for this. Ready. Okay. Ready. Ready. Go on, Miller Bummy, have you got it? Shape of you, Ed Sheeran. Very good. Right, you guys go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We'll just pull another one out from the uh, yeah. 1960s, 70s archive. Yeah, really? You keep with the current <laughs> one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, okay. I'm looking at you. Yeah, really? looking at you. Yeah. I think we can ask you, 
Who won that game? It's pretty obvious, right? Romans group. Yeah. 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 So there's a shot. Well done. Well done. Well done. Thank you so much. You've been absolutely brilliant. Um, now, if your family fancies joining us on the show, we want to hear from you. Yeah, just drop us an email with your name, contact number, and why you'd like your family to guess what we're singing on a kazoo. <laughs> no, it's just to be on the teams. It's good fun. Uh, email to sundaybest at cactustv.co.uk. Now, last month, Theatres were finally allowed to reopen. Everyone was so excited, everyone was so happy, it's so nice to have it back. And one of the first productions back up and running is a musical version of Sleepless in Seattle, and it stars none other than our guest, Jay McGuinness. Jay, hello. Hello. Uh, Jay, I mean, this is... It must just be the strangest thing ever. So it's, it is officially the first socially distanced musical to hit the stage since lockdown, yeah. Sleepless. I mean, what can you tell me about it? I mean, so much. Uh, uh, when it comes down to doing the actual show, it feels very similar. Mm. We go in and do our rehearsals the same, and the audiences, aside from it being a little bit over 400 per show instead of 1,000, yeah. um, it's felt very similar. But everything surrounding it is very different. We get yeah. swabbed in the morning, and you know, we're wearing masks, and the amount of uh, people that are watching, uh, not physically, but watching the industry and watching what's going on. Every single actor in that room has been saying to the producers and to me and to Kimberly and everyone, yeah. all of my friends are out of work and all of us are watching how this is going and so happy that someone's, you know, spent plenty of money to see if it could happen. Yeah. Mm. I, I mean, it, it's fantastic, and, it, and it's a great story as well, based on uh, the, the 90s rom-com, Slippers in Seattle, um, which was uh, obviously a, a big Tom <laughs> Hanks film back in the day. That's it. Um, were, you, were you a fan of it? Um, I was about three years old when it came out um, and I hadn't seen it until when they asked me to audition. Mm. I watched it on the plane um, and I really enjoyed it and what I enjoyed was it was so 90s. 90, the 90s um, it was just a different political yeah. sphere and so it becomes just sort of um, it's goofy and romantic yeah. and everything's a lot simpler um, so that translates into a fun musical where we can really have a laugh, and it is truly escapism. It's, it's yeah. nice to have like an hour of that a day or two. But what's nice is that you've got, with the film as well, I mean, we haven't got Tom Hanks all singing and all dancing right. in the film, but, <laughs> uh, you know, you add that vibe in this, and we've got a clip of you in action here. Let's take a look. She wanted not to rush things, to try to let things play. But the moment that I saw her, I wanted her to stay. My hand, pure emotion, turned sidewalk to sand, thrilling, then frightening, then thunder and lightning, a movie, a song rearranged, the moment that everything changed. So good. You were speaking earlier about uh, Kimberly, Kimberly Walsh, obviously That's it. Girls Aloud, right? Yes. You've worked with her before though, haven't you? Yeah, we did another uh, Tom Hanks musical. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> big. Yeah. Where a young boy makes a wish to be big and then he, he grows up, he, he becomes an adult. Uh, so then he deals with all of that and she was, yeah, my co-star then and that was the Dominion Theatre. We had a blast and... I mean, I, that was a white knuckle ride. Like going from it was straight after Strictly into a musical, getting on that giant piano, I was bricking it. And now I feel like we're in our stride and able to enjoy it a little bit more. Mm. The, the, the Tom Hanks thing. <laughs> now, let, let's go to this. Um, so, when is Castaway? And with, with Wilson. <laughs> with Kimberly Walsh. And, and who's Wilson? Wilson. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. You said Kimberly was Wilson, not us. Kimberly right, Walsh. We've got to take a quick break, uh, but don't go anywhere uh, because we've still got to chat loads to Jamie Guinness. Uh, and of course, Corey's Julia Goulding. She's going to tell us what it's really like being part of the Platt family. We'll see you in a few minutes. <laughs> Sunday best. Yeah, Aurea Duba and Jay McGuinness are here, and a little later on, Cory Shona, that is actress Julia Goulding, uh, tells us what's in store for her on the street. Now, we were just talking to Jay McGuinness about his new musical. Uh, Jay, but apart from a musical, you were also learning Spanish, weren't you, in lockdown? Yeah, in lockdown. I did the, I did the Duolingo thing. So, oh. daily, you know, five, ten minutes. ¿Qué tal? Está bien. Oh, está bien. Sí. No, es muy bien. ¿Y tú? 
Was that French? I didn't know you could speak Spanish, Ro. Et tu? Que? Bellissimo. <laughs> 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 no, but I like that in lockdown because we all started, you know, lockdown and we all said, oh, you know, I'm going to learn something. I, you know, I was going to learn French. Mm -hmm. Did I? Nope. No. Tap dancing. You know, tap that dancing. A I gave that a go. Did you? And then I stopped Please it tell a go. me you don't have, like, neighbours underneath you. If I did, they'd moved out. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, I tried and it stopped. Tap dancing. That's, that's pretty big. But, I mean, you, you were doing a cappella videos. Now, the, these it, yeah. look really hard to make, are they? Um, well, you, you know, I guess there's definitely a certain amount of self-criticism where you watch back and you go, this is horrible, I'm not posting it, and then the call of attention comes and you're like, right. come on! Right, um, right, but right, That was definitely, especially when I couldn't do anything, like, yeah. not even with the boys or, or theatre, mm. I just, you know, I, I like singing, it is what it is. Well, mate, I mean, you, you do smash it. I mean, let's take a look at your acapella video here. My mama swore that she would never let herself forget And that is the moment that I promise that I'll never sing all love If it does not exist very, very good. You have had a, a, a fantastic career. I mean, you were a part of something that was huge. You know, I mean, The Wanted as a, as, as a group, you did so many amazing things. You played at the biggest stadiums on the planet. You had great tunes as well. I wanted to, I wanted to get this one in here because this one is a banger. I'm glad you came. Big man. Really big. That was, that was really like fun some of that one. That's what I'm saying. That's like the soundtrack to like you know kind of people's kind of lives at, at that point. And you know being a part of that. I mean, how much how much do you miss it? Oh, I mean there are there are things that I miss loads. Like uh, it's just people. I think a lot of it. Obviously you miss years, but like uh, love spending time with the boys, all of our team. Um, and then now things like those songs like remind me of being like okay, I was 21 there. I was you know doing that. Mm. Um, Mostly, I'm kind of still doing what I like. Like, I'm singing, yeah. I'm, we're working in a big group, but yeah, it's just like, I'm a, a nostalgic person. I enjoy Because you know, you're like, the trouble with being in a band when you're so young is that you're always looking forward, and you never take time when you're really successful yeah. is to breathe it in. But now, the older you get, you learn to do that. Yeah, and, and what's funny is I, I have countless people that have sp said that to us. That told me and like just enjoy this moment. You like you will look back and it will all feel different, and you just you cannot have that foresight. You cool. eventually get there, but at the time, all you're thinking is, okay, we were number one two weeks ago, and the next one's not going to be number one. And it's always you're right. You're, you're pushing the, the next thing. Yeah. Um, but it's more enjoyable now, I think. I, I enjoy it afterwards. But on Strictly, actually, my partner Ali would say. Just do the dance, we'll enjoy it afterwards. And you do enjoy the dance like 300 times. Nothing to do with the two minutes you did yeah. when you were there. Yeah. It's just celebrating after. I admit, right, I mean, you, you mentioned it there as well, Strictly Come Dancing. That is a huge accolade, Ori, as you know, uh, to win that show. <laughs> but, Jay, I actually think I know your best ever award. It has to be the sexiest male <laughs> celebrity vegetarian in 2013 <laughs> by Peter. How did that happen? <laughs> right, that, can I just say how loaded is that? Because <laughs> there's the year, there's the food you eat. Yeah. Uh, it's, it, it could only be more specific It was if it was blue-eyed, left-handed, Nottingham, vegetarian, yeah. Leo. Yeah. It's like, that is not great. And We're working with a niche market, but it's fine. <laughs> Take what you can get. Yeah, no, that was, that was funny. I guess... Um, just, uh, it's, a, it's pathetic, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Hello, Jay, thank you so much Pleasure. for being here as well today. And you can see Jay in Sleepless, a musical romance at the Troubadour Wembley Park Theatre in London until the 27th of September. Now, uh, uh, the Sangera family, I know you've got a question for Jay, haven't you? We have. <laughs> Go on, now. All right, let's hear it. I heard you had a baby. I heard you had a secret baby in lockdown. Is that true? Imagine if that was how a secret baby was exposed. Do I? <laughs> Do I? <laughs> no, my twin brother had a baby, um, oh. and I posted a picture of my, I think, my hand next to his foot all the other way around, and uh, then loads of people were like, he's had a baby. 
But uh, no, it's my brother's. His name's Freddie James, and my first name's James, so he's a little bit mine. Oh, oh that's really nice. Mean. That's really, really nice. Uh, Miller family, you've got a question for, for Ori, don't you? Um, so we're big Strictly fans. So who do you think's the better dancer, you or Jay? Ooh, oh, coming in. It's oh. a great question. And a, the only answer is the man over there, McGuinness. Big time. <laughs> I mean, this is, I mean you, you wanted a straight answer, that's it, yeah. I mean, I love dancing, but if I... You know when you show that picture of you dancing in big? The one of you with Kimberly doing yeah. the side by side. If you could have print that out and post it, that is exactly how anybody wants to look. I never look like that. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen you in the blonde oh. wig, Cinderella. You were rocking That it. is, yeah. Bit of the in fact, put those two pictures side by side, <laughs> and then That's you'll so get your weird. answer. <laughs> now, if you're looking for some what to watch inspiration, then we can help in... Yep, our best picks from stuff on the box and online. Yeah, let's start with a brilliant film on Netflix called Thinking of Ending Things. It is a pretty creepy psychological horror film based on the best-selling book and has an amazing cast, seriously, Tony Collette, uh, Jesse Buckley as well. Um, it's all about a woman who has doubts about her boyfriend, which kind of seems very generic, who joins him on a road trip, also very generic, to meet his parents, very generic. But this one's creepy. Take a look. Here they come. Ooh, Jeff has told us so much about you. He told me so much about both of you, too. And you came anyway. <laughs> Jake tells me you're studying quantum psychics. Ooh, physics. Really? <laughs> but there's just something okay. profoundly wrong here. Are you okay? Yeah. I think you've endings. I am so glad Jake has found someone. <laughs> Soon this will all be a distant memory. Who is this? It's me. No, it was me. Ooh. What time of the morning is this show on? Yeah. Yeah. You, you know the frightening thing about that, though? He's going to meet the parents. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah true, Forget yeah. the rest of it. <laughs> but this next one, right? This is right up my street. Love your weekend with Alan Titchmarsh, ITV. And the good news is, right, that he's on straight after this show. Alan Titchmarsh is going to show you what to do with your garden, no matter how big or how small it is. It's going to be wonderful. Every Sunday morning, we'll be right here celebrating everything that's great about our British countryside. And there's a lot to celebrate, from foraging to farming farming to fine craftsmanship. We'll be upcycling, recycling and everything in between. I'll have some familiar faces dropping by. Everything you need to keep you entertained on a Sunday morning is right here. I can't wait to get going. It's time for Love Your Weekend. Oh dear. And, uh... I reckon this next guy probably was the person my nan fancied the most. Not your mum. No, that's right. Mum's mum. Yeah, Maggie. Um, yeah, Maggie fancied Ainsley Harriet to no end. Ainsley's <laughs> Food We Love on ITV started yesterday. It's on every Saturday morning at 11.35. Ains, oh, he's back cooking up some family favourite recipes and is joined by some top chef friends uh, just to help out with the cooking. Hey, guys. Um, this is beginning to smell very kind of, you know, that sort of classic Italian aromas. You've got the, as you say, you've got the uh, chilli in there, the garlic. Oh, you put the anchovies in now. Yeah. They've melted. It's amazing the way they just melt into the pan, don't they? I love it. And they give that kind of salty sort of flavour. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, I mean, you said you've I've never... I've, well, I've actually never had them before. I'm not a big fan of kind of fishy fish, so... Yeah. No, I've always kind of shied away from them, so this will be my first oh, time. Oh, I... I oh. Uh, do you have any uh, recommendations? Uh, oh, yeah, I thought you were going to ask me about how I put my spices in my pots <laughs> for Ainsley. I've not got any of the deck story he, he does. Um, suggestions, yeah, I, uh, I've been doing a lot of watching telly because it's the only thing to do. Really. <laughs> yeah. It has been the last few months. Um, and the League of Their Own is back on the box. Um, so for anybody who's football or sport mad and comedy mad, it is the show to watch. Jay, what about yourself? Any recommendations? Yes, uh, well, I'm a big Rylan fan and I yeah. love his, his like, sort of taking over of the UK, which <laughs> yeah. should happen, um, because he's a really good presenter, a really yeah. good radio host, and yeah. he's just transformed su Supermarket Sweep. Yes. Um, Revitalising it from the late, great Dale Winton. And it's yeah. just really good, easy watch, and he's funny. And he's just watching him, like, interact with 
you know, all of us UK like is good. It is crazy. Like the show is actually crazy. Yeah, no, it's good. really good. It is so much fun. I mean, take a look at this. Are you all ready to go shopping? Yes! Yeah. Yeah. Dale, Dale, Dale. I love shopping. Yeah. I don't go shopping. Then you're on the wrong show. I've never seen someone move so fast around my aisle. Jenny, how are you? Hiya! So there you go, hopefully that's your TV viewing for the week ahead sorted. After the break, Corey star Julia Goulding tells us about life back on the cobbles after several months off. Plus, we're going to go head to head in our final game, so see you in a few minutes. Sunday best. Oreo Duber and Joe McGuinness have been here all morning, so let's welcome our final guest. Yeah, if you're going to marry David Platt, one of the most troublesome people on the street, then you can expect drama, near death, and devastation. That is exactly what's happened to Shona in Coronation Street. Having been shot, she's lost her memory, but are things about to change? Let's find out from Shona herself. Please welcome to the show Julia Goulding. Hello. Julia, thank you so much for joining us today. I mean, the, the storylines in Corrie are, I mean, they're not, not, nothing short of mental. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Well, that's, that's quite apt, bro. Yeah. <laughs> because, uh, Julia, you've been uh, suffering from brain injury, right? You're shown up. Yes, yeah. It's, uh, Christmas Day. I was shot in the abdomen and um, ended up losing the last sort of four to five years of a memory because of, um, I think, hemorrhage that she had. Yeah. How is that to play? Because that's if someone somebody gave me that part or Jay that part, you'd quite fancy it, wouldn't you? Because you get to play two different characters, don't you? Absolutely. It's been really interesting because obviously not many people uh, in Soapland get to play two different characters unless you know you're playing your own evil twin or something. Um, but yeah, it's been great. It's been nice having a, a refreshing sort of new look on on Shona. I mean, Shona is, is a character that so many people love, and I know they'll be really excited about this, because, Dad, they've finally given us the key to the uh, old exclusive clips. Oh, really? Yeah. Let's Tomorrow play night, it. take a look at this. 350, 351, 352. Why is the front door open? 354. What are you doing? Where's Lil? Hiding. Where? Six, I don't know, do we? We're playing hide and seek. She told me to close my eyes and count to 500. Well, you need to keep an eye open. Well, no, she told me to close them. 358. Lily! 359. Coming out, I've got your ice cream. 361. 360. I don't believe this. Lily! Well, what? Have I done something wrong? David, I didn't give her any sweets. Very good. And another round of applause. It's just been announced that we're going back to six episodes a week. Yes! <laughs> Um, you have always been such a huge fan of Coronation Street. I love this photo. Um, let's take a look at this on set. On your fifth birthday. Is that your fifth birthday? Yeah, I'm the one in the pink tights. <laughs> oh, that is so cool. I mean, is it still as exciting going onto the set as it was that first time? It really is, you know. I, I, I pinch myself every day. I do. I really, I love my job so much. Um, but yeah, no, I made my mum take me because um, I knew I wanted to be an actor and I wanted to go on Coronation Street. But they didn't let me in the Rovers because I was too young. Yeah, oh, I can imagine. Uh, you know what I love about soaps the most is the way that it includes everything that's going on in real life at that moment. Are you going to do the pandemic? Is that going to be part of the storylines? Um, it does exist within Weatherfield because obviously, you know, we try and have a reflection of um, the real world out there. Yeah within the show um but it, i don't think it's going to be commented on it, like, as in a storyline about it yeah i think but, i mean I'm, to be honest i'm not i'm not sure i I'm mean it, it, no. I, I know for a fact because we've had andy wyman on the show before um kirk from corrie and 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 he just said i mean that whole moment where filming was kind of halted um it, it was just so tough but for you you had only been back 
for four weeks because you, you were on um, leave as well. You were on maternity leave. So, I mean, it must have just felt like, yep, yeah, ready to get back into work. And then, no, everyone go home. Sorry, we're locking the door. Um, but I, I have to ask, uh, how, how is Franklin? How, how was lockdown for him? Oh, you know what? It was, uh, it was a real blessing in a horrendous situation, obviously. Had that time. The extra time, the three of us, um, you know, he, he broke his first tooth while, while we were in lockdown and uh, it started sort of moving about and things. So it was, it was really lovely and he is just my joy. I, um, honestly, he's, he makes everything about life better. Oh, so fantastic. Hey, well, listen, uh, thank you so much. Let's hear it uh, for Julia Goulding. Thank you, Julia. Thank you, mate. And you can see Julia in Corrie on ITV Monday, Wednesday and Friday at 7.30. Uh, now, to finish off the show, we are going to be playing one final game called... Act It Out. Now, the cloud has provided me and my dad with a list of songs that we have to act out to our studio guests. That's right, act, not sing. <laughs> the team that guesses with the most right answers obviously wins. Now we have 45 seconds each to act out as many as we can. Uh, Ori, you be watching my dad. This is going to go really well again. I, I just have that feeling. Uh, yeah. Yay! Yeah. You and me. Okay. Uh, and as always, Maureen, you're going to be keeping scores, isn't that right? Yeah! Very good! And to give you a clue, the songs are all themed. So, Ro, you're up first, right? Here's your list of songs. Okay, I think I've got them here. You got them? Yeah. All right. All right. Now, your theme is solo female artists. So, solo female artists. All right, cool. You ready for this? Yeah, go on. So, you've got to put 45 seconds on the clock. Yeah, all right. Just you and me, baby. You're good. Just you and me, baby. What? And acting? What do you mean, am I good? No, I mean, like, are you good at this game? <laughs> I want to know what I'm working with. And the time starts. Right. Do you want a stat sheet? No. <laughs> Wait, hang on. Hang on. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, chicken, monkey. Yeah. What am I doing on? You're jumping. Think about the song. Yeah. Monkey. Key. Yeah. Monkey dance. <laughs> oh, dance monkey. Yes. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I can't do it. Face. Yeah. Ow. You're poking. Yeah. Me. What's the song? What's the song? Poke. Poke, face poke. Yep. I can't feel my face when I'm with No, you. no! Ah! Ah! Poker face! Yeah, yeah poker face! Uh, 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 will, will you, you know? call me? Call me maybe. Call me maybe, yes, okay. Uh, oh, yeah, solo girls. <laughs> oh. Oh. Not bad. That one, we were just struggling with the last one. Well, I was I going like this, go on. Give you the last one. Shake it off. Very good, uh, I'll have that, I'm having that. Chicken dance. You I can't like. have that. The buzzer win. No, I had it. <laughs> you didn't hear. You're hearing things. You're hearing things. That's what like Father Sangero was saying. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I got that one. Yeah, yeah definitely got, got that one. one. Yeah, right, got that. Right, right. Yeah. right, I got yeah. four. <laughs> Whatever you, you say. You got four. Forced to be. Right, so we got to be better than oh, that. I'm so right. not ready. Okay. For this. Tell us when, bro. Come on. Uh, you got this, Mark. You All got right. this. Okay, so Dad, your your theme is uh, male artists. So songs sang by male artists. Right. Okay, okay. so Ori, that's all I can give you. Let's do it. Let's right, do it. Right, your 45 seconds starts in three, two, one, go. Oh, come on, mate. Who's driving the car? Driving the uh, Summer holiday? No. No. Uh, it's, uh, uh, you are driving, right? No. Are you try. You know. Are you? You're watching are you, ITV. Are you on a <laughs> lost the plot? A pottery wheel. Okay, please, please. I'm getting hot. Write that down. Uh, oh, it's uh, um, signed, sealed, delivered. Good. One. Here's another one. Ooh. This is Pete dadding. Prayer. Um, yeah. Living on a prayer. Uh. What are you doing there, Egg Martin? Uh, the knees, El Elton John? John? Is it Elton John? No! Yeah. Yeah. Oh, what was that? It's Faith! George Michael! Oh, Faith! These are impossible! I know! Oh, it's impossible. Oh, oh, Faith! I know! Oh, you should have blown up a, a, a jukebox yeah. for crying out loud! Yeah. yeah! What was the first one? <laughs> it was Tiny Dancer! Tiny <laughs> <laughs> I see it, I see it. <laughs> What I was watching was that. 
<laughs> tiny dancer. Tiny dancer. Yeah, tiny yeah, dancer. Yeah, yeah. You that need to it. take your shoes off and put them on. I feel there's a lot of eye contact on that. Oh, no. Oh, that fleet door does like it. Brilliant. Oh, <laughs> so I think we know what the scores are, but let's make it official. Granny Maureen, it's up to you to reveal the results. Who won, me or Roman? Nobody. Roman won. Yeah. Oh, well. Yeah, he did. I really hope someone puts... The song Tiny Dancer to you dancing like that. <laughs> <laughs> if no one does it, I'm going to do it. I don't care. Uh, but that's our lot for today. If that's not enough for you, you can watch the whole show again of Martin Kemp ruining his career right here on the ITV Hub. <laughs> uh, huge thanks to our wonderful Grandma Maury. <laughs> Just thank you, Bye. family. Maury and Jimbo. Yeah, and big thanks to the Miller family and Jane again. Yes. We're back next Sunday with a Saturday, Frankie Bridge, comedian Russell Howard and music legend, Billy Ocean. Yeah, thank you so much for spending your morning with us. We'll see you next week. See you later. Bye.